We begin at noon today with a stunning primary upset that ousted the second most powerful person in the U.S. House of Representatives. Majority Leader Eric Cantor has lost his primary re-election bid to a little-known Tea Party candidate. The stunning defeat sending shockwaves through Washington today. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer joins us with what this all means now. Marsha? Well, Chris, the aftershocks from this political earthquake are just being assimilated on Capitol Hill. The words legislative gridlock on the lips of many. Congress in an uproar this noon over the cataclysmic and totally unexpected primary defeat of House Majority Leader Eric Cantor by a little-known Tea Party-backed college professor. Now this was a, uh, a surprise that no one saw coming. There was really shock throughout the Congress. Congressman King says the defeat of Cantor, the second most powerful man in the House, is bad news for moderates in the House Republican Conference and could spell legislative gridlock, empowering Tea Thank Party you. advocates to dig their heels in deeper on issues like the budget, the deficit, and immigration reform. It's going to be very difficult right now to get anything uh, significant through. I think you will see a lot of gridlock. This uh, defeat by Cantor has, I think, pretty much divided the Republican Party and uh, certainly slowed down the Republican Party. In defeat, Cantor was brief. Obviously, we came up short. Cantor was beaten by a little-known economics professor named Dave Bratt, who spent $122,000 to Cantor's $5 million. Dollars do not vote. You do. Brat campaigned for cutting spending and against comprehensive immigration reform. Ironically, Cantor himself was one of the Tea Party's earliest and most vocal backers. Remember what the Tea Party acronym stands for. It's taxed enough already. But recently, the majority leader angered some conservatives by voting to raise the debt ceiling and backing legislation that would grant legal status to immigrants brought to the United States illegally as children. It's an issue of decency, of compassion. The primary loss delighted Democrats. House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi Pelosi is saying it could have a huge effect on the midterm elections. It's a whole new ball game, she said. The assessment by pundits? This is truly a political earthquake. Well, there was no word from Cantor's staff about whether he will try to mount a writing campaign in November. Ironically, David Bratt's Democratic opponent, Jack Trammell, teaches at the same college, Randolph Mason. Mary and Chris? All right, Marsha, thank Marcia. you so much.